stand. This is Tara. Um, due to wet weather, we found ourselves having to use the round pen again. And then due to some situation that happened in the round pen, we stayed in the round pen a little bit for, uh, to try to fix some stuff. So this is actually her second ride out. In <laughs> stand, stand, back. So this is her second ride out here and hopefully we fixed her trot to where it won't be bad out here. Um, and if she offers the canter, we'll run with it. But if she doesn't, no, stand, back, back, stand, over, over, over. Okay, so we're going to first work with her a little bit on the ground, get her feet busy, get her thinking about her feet, not about noises that she's hearing and the lack of horses out here with us, um, and then we'll see what we can do. So I'm going to go ahead and snug this up a little bit more. Sorry, baby. Might be all we need, but we'll, we'll tie it up so you don't trip on it, okay? Yeah, we'll tie it up so you don't trip on it. Okay, I'm going to put her on a longer line also to let her really get her feet out there. And also going to see if I can travel with her a little bit, let her do all the work, and I'm just going to walk in a straight line. It's okay if she moves. I could have given her a lot of mixed messages there. Okay, here, here. So I want her to yield to me first, good. Then I'm gonna ask her to go out on the circle in the direction that I'm pointing. I'm gonna ask her to pick up the trot right away. So what I'm watching for is a toss of the head, that right there. Um, I need to know where her anxiety is. I need to know that she thinks she's with me or if she feels like she's out here on her own. If she feels like she's out here on her own, she'll toss her head quite a bit. And go ahead and see if I can change directions on the longer line. Nope, nope, nope. Good. So she's a little confused. I'm not going to get mad at her. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I love that she picked up that faster trot when I pointed forward. Let's see if she does it again. Good girl. So I might ask for the canter this time. She's cross firing. Oh, she nice lead change. Good girl. There you go. There you go. Four sorted out. Good girl. Good. Now I'm going to ask her to trot. Now I'm going to ask her to come to me. Here. Good girl. When I stop and stand up straight, she should know that means she's supposed to stop. That's far enough. So I really, really impressed that she did that so well.
I'm going to ask her to back off that line. Good girl. Okay. Ask her to go out the other way. Ask her to trot right away. Did not ask for it, but I'm going to allow it. So I'm going to help her here by giving it to her. This is her easier direction. Good girl. I'm going to call her to me here. I have her just cross your legs, but don't go anywhere in here too. Just cross your legs, but don't go anywhere. Good. Itchy face. Okay. Cross your legs, but don't go anywhere. Good. Cross your legs, but don't go anywhere. I'm not going to tighten that. So, we're going to go ahead and see what we got. Maybe see if I can send her back out. And I'm going to ask her to trot this time. I'm going to keep her reeled. Oh, okay, so there she's got a little there. She's talking a lot to me right now. So, I'm going to ask her to trot. And I'm going to keep her coming. Ready? Trot. Because I just want the trot. Good girl. Going to yield her. Tell her to stay out there. Ask her to back one step up. Back up one step. Back up one step. Good. Going to send her the other way. Give her a little assistance. Good girl. So she told me what I forgot. I forgot to kiss. Come on now. I'm going to ask her to trot. Good. Ears forward. She's being so compliant. So, I like to establish kind of my, uh, verbal praise so that when they do something wrong, they can hear my, my verbal um, discipline. And then when they do the right thing, they have to have something following it to let them know they did the right thing. So, I would give her my verbal praise. I'm going to go ahead and... Get my helmet, my rings. Now me elevated anywhere, on a fence, uh, on a stump, on a rock, on a mountain block, it will not matter. It should always mean step over to me. Um, I don't think she's going to be a horse that's going to be braided for show, so I hope it doesn't end up being something that she steps over to somebody every time they step up to mane, but I don't think anybody needs to be on anything to braid her mane. Try to think ahead make sure it doesn't look like something else. Um, the overcommand becomes something that they're very good at and it becomes something that they become very proud of themselves for. And they tend to do it when they're telling you, 
I don't know what else you're saying, but I know I don't get in trouble for this. I know I get told I'm a good girl for this. Um, so often, uh, horses that I work with will, when they tell me they're confused, that's how they tell me they're confused. I don't know what you're asking me for, but I know if I do this, you tell me I'm a good girl. So um, if she starts overing out of nowhere, I'm going to take that as her telling me she's confused at what I, I want from her. I'm trying to get her mane out from the saddle because I don't want to have any reason for her to have any discomfort or any reactive behavior because of discomfort. Good girl. She does know where the gate is and she does know that there's grass on the other side of the gate. So I'm hoping that uh, we don't get real gate sour out here. She's been gate sour last time she was out here. So I'm facing this way. Her job is to find me. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So I may leave her standing somewhere else. And like I said, whichever way I'm facing, her job is to find the direction that I'm facing. So, if I leave her way out there, and then I come up here, she needs to figure out which way I'm facing. And then she needs to do something. I'm just, so, she's got herself a little too close. I'm just going to stay away. Good girl. Good girl. You're okay. Step up. Good girl. Good girl. arena a little bit first like I said she knows there's a gate there and some of her protests have been about telling me but I don't want to um, so we may find that that bucking starts more out here because I'm gonna ask her to pass that gate good girl now I didn't ask her to run down here very much so she may pick up the pace a little bit and in her anxiety of oh boy we're out here by so I'm just gonna try to reassure her she's not out here by herself good Good girl. Good girl. Let her walk up this stretch here. Let her look if she feels she needs to look. It's a different footing than the other arena. Good girl. We've uh, unearthed some rocks in this last drag. Um, so she's, you know, if you'll hear it in her feet. Just make sure that she wants to work with me here. There was quite a bit of noise next door with the kids on their dirt bikes, and I believe I even heard a duck call. I don't think it was an actual duck. Good girl. So, she's certainly taking advantage of this sideways behavior. Good girl. We're not going to go to the gate, though. We're going to pass the gate. Good girl. Good girl. Nope, we're not stopping there. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, it's a bigger space to move your feet in, huh? Yeah. You know that path. You're usually on that path, on that side of that path, yeah. Good girl. So the worst place for me to change direction would be by that gate. So I'm going to go ahead and do like a teardrop, which is part of a circle. Good girl. And then try to get back out on the rail. She's, there we go. She's leading by her shoulder here. So just wait. There you go. Now this is her hard direction. This is the direction we tend to fight on. And then her fights have gotten a little bit bigger, but we've worked through them I hope. Now we'll see if they re-emerge out here. But I'm pretty sure that we 
We kind of got a language anyway. Oh, uh, not doing that. So, trying to just do a lot of reassurance for her, let her know she's good when she's not doing something naughty. She does. I love my monarch visiting. She does. Uh, um, she's losing her steering a little bit, and I think that's going to be an issue a little bit today, and that's okay. You know, you that's the first thing you lose when things start to go wrong. Like, I'm losing my steering here, and I don't want to put my leg on her today. I just want her to follow her nose. As soon as she follows her nose, I'm going to leave her alone. So that's when I left her alone. There, I'm going to leave her alone. She's bringing me with her shoulder more to the inside. I'm going to leave her alone. Good girl. Good girl. See if I can bring her right up the middle here, which has no direction. Good girl. So, see how she drags me towards, see if we, <laughs> we have to pass towards the arena or towards the gate. Good girl. So, I'm pretty happy with this so far. I am going to start on our good side. Let her really kind of get warmed up here with me. and So, we're definitely shouldering away here, which you probably can't see. It's muddy there, so we don't want to go in there anyway. So she's going to probably start arguing with me a little bit by this gate, which you probably still don't see. I'm just going to ask her to keep going. Good girl. Let her know she's good for responding to the good girl, to the sense of direction on her nose. Good girl. Good girl. I'm getting a little bit of a hump in her back here when she's deciding what she doesn't want to do. Good girl. I don't know what I mean. Now she's starting to flick her ears a little bit like she's going to suck up on me a little bit. So, see if we can get a trot. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I'm not sure where we're going to go. I'm just going to try to get just the gate. I'll let her walk. Yep, my reins got caught on my saddle here. Good girl. You're okay. not good. I don't want my reins catching on my saddle. Lost, not that I really lost my control there, but really didn't like my reins got caught on my saddle there. The saddle's giving me a little bit of a headache with parts that don't fit on it right. I've glued stuff that shouldn't be, need to be glued. So I'm going to ask for the trot here where she's starting to balk up on me. Good girl. See how far we can talk her in to keep going without bucking. She's thinking naughty right now. Good girl, you're okay. Good girl. No! Just trying to correct the thoughts. Good girl. Good girl. No. Ah. Uh ah. -uh. Good girl. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Ah. Uh -uh. Ah. Uh -uh. So I'm going to use some corrective noises here. Good girl. Ah, 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 ah. Good girl. Good girl. Let her know that I'm happy with what we're doing right now. She's just trouble turning here. Good girl. Ah, ah. Good girl. Easy. Good girl. You okay? Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Uh -uh. Good girl. You're okay. And walk. So I'm just going to kind of give her a break. Nope. Just tell her that. Good girl. So. Got a lot of naughty going on now, but it's okay. She's not acting on it yet. Good girl. Girl. Can I ask for that trot again. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Ah. Ah. Good girl. Put your 
your ears up. Good girl. Ah! Ah! Good girl. Good girl. Start trying to get a turn sooner than right here because she's... Good girl. Good girl. Good girl and walk. I'll let her even walk at the gate. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. That's what we want. Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah. So during our phase of naughtiness, she got spun around to a stop many times. So it's going to be a little difficult to get her to do a circle, I think, but we'll give it a shot. Good girl. Good girl. See things good. Big circle. Good girl. Good girl. Ah ah ah. You're okay. Good girl. Ah. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. And go ahead and hoe her in the middle of the arena. Oh. Good girl. You're a good girl. Good girl. Hold her with a very naughty thought in there. Good girl. Good girl. Try to let her know I'm in love with her right now. Yeah. Let's go the other way that you hate so much. Yeah. Let's see if I can get the trot. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Ah. Good girl. Ah. 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 Good girl. Yeah, good girl. Ah. No, 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 no. Good girl. direction so naughty thoughts are growing in this direction. I'm gonna try to let her move out. Try my best to stay out of her way. If she wants to move out that's good. Good girl. No, no, ah. Uh -uh. Good girl. Ah. Uh -uh. Good girl. Good girl. Ah uh ah -uh. ah uh ah. -uh. Good girl. I like good girl, you're okay. Good girl. Good girl. So again, I'm going to get out of her way, let her move out up this path here. Good girl. Not asking for anything. So if she picks up the canner, I'm going to take it because we struggled. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. And walk. Good girl. No, walk. Good girl. Actually, she's had these naughty thoughts, and my corrections have been enough verbally. I have not had to dismount and fix her thoughts about what I can do with her feet. Um, not arguing with her anymore, not having any big fights with her. I'm very much enjoying being with her right now. I'm glad that I have learned what her uh, cues are, that she's about to be naughty, so I can get ahead of it while she's thinking it instead of before it's happened. Good girl. Yeah. Let her walk for a few minutes. What a good girl. So, obviously my goal is that we can trot the, just as much with a sweet face as she has right now. Um, at all gates. Um, just got to work on letting her know what is the right, the right look and what's the wrong look and, and what's the right attitude and what's the bad attitude and we're going to go ahead and just kind of try to stay with her on those uh, moments of naughty thought. She's a good girl, though. I'm pretty proud of you. 
So this is her easy direction. Um, for a reintroduction to this arena, I'm really not going to beat her up today because we've really had to go backwards quite a bit to get to this point, and I'm really, really, really proud of her. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trot a little bit more, see if I can actually change directions while trotting without a problem. See if I can do one solid figure eight. If I can, then uh, we're going to call it quits. So I'm going to go ahead and ask her to trot. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. See if I can keep her trotting past here. Good girl. I'm going to do a figure eight. Good girl, follow your nose. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, you're okay. Ah, ah, good girl. Good girl. She's really enjoyed kind of running this stretch here, so I'm just going to let her run that stretch, and then we're going to cut across. See if she can handle me bouncing twice. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I'm going to bring her into the middle, and I'm going to hoe her. If she'll keep going here. Good girl. Bring her in the middle, and we're going to hoe in the middle. Because I said so, not because she wants to. Hoe. Good. Good girl. Don't bite my foot. That was a bad answer. That was a bad answer for that. Good girl. Unfortunately, she had to end that way, so we're not going to end that way. <sighs> Crazy girl, why do you have to? You have to do something naughty at the end there. So we're going to do that all over again. Hopefully, she doesn't do that naughty at the end again. So we're going to go this way. Start her hard way. Good girl. Good girl. Like I said, she's learned. She really kind of likes to stretch out on this. Ah, uh -uh. good girl. Let's see if I can get her keep going. Good girl. Good girl. Get her in the center here. Bring her back down the way we. Good girl. Ah, uh ah, -uh. no. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Uh -uh. Good girl. Yeah. Good. I'm so glad we worked worked out some kind of deal here. And then I'm going to ask her to hoe again in the middle here. Oh, oh. That's a good girl. Ask her to walk. Good. Good girl. So, looking for this relaxation and this sweetness. I can come through here and drag this again and then do some serious rock picking. I uprooted some rocks this last drag. Um, but uh, very happy we're back out here. The round pen, I think, was encouraging some naughty thoughts and kind of helped produce them, I think. So I'm actually really glad that we were able to get out here today. It's kind of going to add a nice pizzazz to to my uh, rest of my day. I have a big day today, huh? And I'm very happy that this went well. Yes. Good girl. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to add speed to something that's not fixed at the trot. Okay, we do have that um, naughty thought at the trot. We got to get past that. Uh, going to have to make it interesting because, like I said, I believe, honestly, this little horse. Uh, is going to get bored in just about anything that she's asked to do. She doesn't have a uh, just run around in circles kind of brain. She does when she's got anxiety, but we're looking to not have anxiety here. We're looking to have calm and relaxed. When she has anxiety, she can pace and circle and pace and circle, but we're not looking for her to do that. So I'm going to ask her to go her hard way for this walk out here. And she's a little confused. See, I immediately lost my steering when she was asked to go this direction. Good girl, I'm very proud of you, yes.
her more and ruin a little bit of trust on us. So I worked hard on giving her a collective sound that she heard today, and I used that sound to, to tell her she's thinking the wrong thought. And then I have a, a signature good girl sound that um, lets them know you're right, you changed your thought, and you're right. So I'm going to go ahead and ask her to hoe right here, hoe without biting my foot. She didn't step forward. She, as far as like to walk away, she stepped forward to get her feet square under her. I'm not mad at her for that step. What do you think? Huh? If I loosen that, it's gonna make you happy, not mad, huh? If I loosen that, it'll make you happy. You're a good girl. You did good. This is how we end when we want to end. Oh yes, this is how when we want to end on a good note, huh? Yeah, that's a good little lady. Yeah. In fact, can we take this off for you? You want to go just outside? I can just put you straight out if you want. You want to just go straight out? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It wasn't so wet. One of these times, I am going to ride her right out to her paddock, get her getting out on the grass and feeling what it feels like to to be ridden out without much confined space. You know what, I'm going to keep that on there for this part, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're a good girl. You did good. You did really good. I'm very proud of you. In fact, we'll trade these off. Good girl, I know. I, I knew that was going to happen. I'm sorry. Okay.